Cancer to your July chakra reading. Hope you guys are doing great out there. Welcome back all subscribers and anyone new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. If you like this, please like and subscribe. For all of you who have watched chakra before, I got this new mat and the table all chakra out. So, very nice. Okay, these cards are pre-shuffled, so we won't have to sit here all day looking for all the cards. Okay, shuffling like seven decks. <laughs> okay, so getting right into this for you guys, we have <clears throat> the Chakra Wisdom Oracle card is Workaholic. As you can see, it is blue, which is your throat chakra. This is the communications, speaking. Okay, I speak, communications, doing things of that nature. Okay, so with the Workaholic, you have on that inspiration and communication, creativity, truth, and the workaholic card is, are you waiting to complete your career before you live your life? Busy work may be helping you hide from the real issues. Am I working too much and suffering from burnout? Is there something important that I am avoiding doing? Or are you just doing this because you feel you have to, right? So, being a workaholic, sometimes we overwork, but it's not always great for everybody else around us as well, right? The money is good, but sometimes it keeps us from our families and keeps us from doing other things in life that we should be doing. So you don't want to avoid those things. You have obstacles and challenges, which is <clears throat> the purple chakra, which is your third eye. So keeping this throat chakra and the third eye open is a good thing and using it you have your soul says you have gratitude this is a glorious time to be alive and I am so grateful the angels want you to know peaceful resolution your law and attraction card is I cannot create in an experience of another and be the eagle seize opportunity opportunities courageously can be like the eagle, and your two tarot cards are five of swords right side up and four of swords in reverse. Okay, these are the energies that you're portraying, what you're thinking, feeling, and going on within yourself. And these are all the things that the angels want you to know, and the divine wants you to know this is what's going on within your life. Okay, so be the eagle. The angels say, be the eagle, seize those opportunities. There's going to be a peaceful resolution. Your soul wants you to know, have a little gratitude, and these are the things that are going on. And you're thinking, huh, you know, you're thinking over here, well, I'm the five of swords, right? So, you know, I'm on a conquest or something of that nature, right? Are you on a conquest? Are you in disagreement about something? Are you in disagreement because you do work too much? Um, do you feel entitled to have to work as much? Feeling like this is the time to seize those opportunities, right, for money. Um, the more I put in, the more I get out of it. Okay. Does your workaholic cause disagreements? That's exactly what I'm thinking here. I'm working too much. It's causing disagreements. Or are you actually working so much to... Avoid the disagreements. Do they believe that you're selfish for working so much? With the Four of Swords over here, you're going inside. You have the refusal to have the understanding of what's going on around you. I do believe you're ignoring a situation, a disagreement. I think that for a lot of you, you overwork. You feel you need to do so. Um, you are cancer. Cancers are very hard workers. Um, you are considered a workaholic for the majority of you, but I think that you're also refusing to see what's obvious around you. Um, let's get a overall chakra card so we can see exactly what's going on. Well, actually, it's a general reading, so it won't be 100% exact for everybody, right? Everybody will have a little something different. Sacral chakra, I want. 
So, you have obstacles and challenges sitting over here next to the Five of Swords. I really do think that for a lot of you, not all of you, but I do think that a lot of your workaholic comes out of because I want to ignore this, these disagreements. Or I don't want obstacles and challenges, so I do work. Maybe your partner just sees you as selfish. Right? It, they feel like you're ignoring them or ignoring a situation. But with the workaholic over here, you know, you definitely have that going on. And for some of you, you might even feel like you're not being fulfilled by the work. Okay? The work is nothing but ob the obstacles and challenges, right? But the obstacles and challenges over here, pretty much it's telling you that you're having those power struggles. It could be a different, a difficult time period to get through, but it's not impossible if you open your mind, your mind, third eye, open your mind, and see the bigger picture of how something went wrong. Don't get caught up in it. Just pause and stand back for the clarity. Observe where adjustments are required or which directions and decisions may need to be changed to enable you to move forward in a positive direction. Okay, so this, you know, is the card that's really just telling you life has challenging moments. We need to get through them because life is really about learning. Don't ever play the victim in this because we all have challenges and obstacles within our life. Everybody does. But you need to seize the opportunities courageously to get through the obstacles and challenges, but you also need to be aware with the Four of Swords upside down, it's almost like you are not aware of the bigger picture of what's really going on. Right. So by opening these up and using your third eye, using your communications, using the I want of the sacral chakra of another type of communication, the I want, your soul is saying gratitude. Be glad. Right now is a great time to be alive. Be grateful. Be grateful for the things that you have around you. Okay. So, and the angels say there will be a peaceful resolution. So I really do believe that you may be overworking because of obstacles and challenges that are going on um, with your partner. Or you may, or it could just be obstacles and challenges at work, which are uh, making you go more. But the problem is you're ignoring a situation, however it is. You need to seize the opportunity to get past the obstacles and challenges. And you can do this by law and attraction. I cannot create in an experience, in the experience of another. So you cannot create in the experience of another because you cannot think their thoughts. What you can do for them is set the example of joy, gratitude. Become a being who thinks only of that which you are wanting, who speaks only of that which you are wanting, and who does only that which you are wanting, and therefore brings forth only joyful emotions. So I do believe that this is definitely either towards co-workers or a loved one. And you need to express to them to make them understand things, but you also need to open up to express what you want and not ignore the situation. Don't trick yourself into believing that if I ignore this and just continue to do the things that I am doing, it's gonna all be better. Because that's not how the peaceful resolution is going to come, right? That's not the way this works. That's just tricking yourself. Okay, so let's get into this. Going straight to the workaholic obstacles, law and attraction card and the eagle. And of course, like I said, it'll be a little bit different for everybody. And if this doesn't resonate with you guys, you guys can always check your moon rising or uh, Venus signs on other signs. And this, these readings are all for sun, moon, uh, and rising. Okay. 
judgment upside down. Yeah, because it's always bad. It's bad news. It's bad news. Getting the bad news. Having bad news. Having bad news. Why? I don't want to think about it. Yeah. Having bad news, I don't want to think about it. If I just go to work and ignore the situation, everything's going to go back to a peaceful resolution by itself. <coughs> Excuse me. That's what you believe. But in actuality, the angels are telling you, you will have a peaceful resolution, but not the way you think you're going to have it. That's the way you're doing it is not the peaceful resolution. Okay, the way you're doing it keeps you in eight of swords. That's negative energy. It keeps you inside your head. It gives you anxiety. You're moving past it, trying to ignore it, tricking yourself to believe that this is the way it is. Tricking yourself to believe that you're entitled to do this and you're entitled to do that. And this is the only way it needs to be. And then it causes, dis what I believe, is it causes dis disagreements either within some kind of partnership. Whether you're in business with another person or this is your spouse or your loved one it's causing disagreements and you know and they're thinking they may be even thinking you're selfish yeah it's not rising you to the top it's not bringing you anywhere there's no aiming for anything higher it's just you continuing to keep doing the same things yeah in the end you're going to end up having to be forced to bail out um, you're going to be forced to bail out. Bail out of what? Yeah, because of the denial. The denial of knowing what you're doing. You're forcing your own way out. Forcing your way out of the Eight of Cups. Okay, so not allowing yourself to move on. Keeping yourself stuck. Because you're just in confusion. Now you have two cards of confusion sitting right next to each other, just completely stuck. The energy that you're going in and the way that you're moving is just keeping you stuck. There's no transition. There's no progress. There's no traveling away from anything. You're just, yeah, keeping yourself in the denial. Thinking that if I just stay here and I just keep continuing to do all these things, like I said, it's just you feel like it's going to get better. But your soul wants you to know, be grateful for the things that you have. Don't worry about these obstacles and challenges. You can set yourself free. Page of Cups. Keep yourself, keep yourself self-assured and courageous. Giving yourself the cups of love. The, the Page of Cups is sitting on top of the gratitude next to your soul and next to your angels. And they're telling you, give yourself the cups of love. Look deeper within yourself to get through these obstacles and challenges. Tell yourself what you really want because deep down inside you want something. What is it that you want? You want to seize opportunities of courageousness. You want the peaceful resolution. Yeah, three of coins. You want the cooperation of with the other person. Um, yeah, you want everything to collaborate together. You want the togetherness. But not taking action is not going to help and running away from it is not helping. So you have the Four of Cups, the Four of Cups upside down. You know, you can't just sit here and keep running, running, running away from yourself thinking that everything's going to be fine because with the Four of Cups upside down, you're just causing more rejection, more disappointment in the situation. It's not improving. It will only improve when you allow it to improve, when you take the action. The understanding. It feels like there's a lot of understanding. Understanding what's really going on around you. Two of Cups. Feeling the love around you. Taking on the partnership with strength. And there's, you know, and there's this, remember, the workaholic is the communication. So it's going to be, there's going to be a lot of communication. You're going to have to communicate. This might even be offering the cups of of I'm sorry, forgiveness to your partner, making them understand. I thought this was the way it was going to be. I thought that if I did this and did that, that it would make it go away. But that wasn't making any 
difference. So you're going to have to step up to the plate. You're going to have to take the initiation of understanding. This is not bettering itself. This is making it worse. This is the way that you will get to the next chapter, is once you have the complete understanding. The peaceful resolution will come within the new world. But you have to have the understanding that you can't create other people's thoughts. You can't try to control a situation by ignoring a situation. You have, you know, like I said, you have to stay, stand up to the plate. Okay. Once you have the communication and you want what you want and you open up these chakras and get yourself balanced with the understandings of everything, opening up your third eye to understand the obstacles, then you will be able to seize the opportunity like the eagle and be able to fly towards what you want. But there's going to have to be a balance because that's what chakras are, it's balance. And remember, it's a three of coins, right? It's like your soul wants you to know that it's like, I am the guy in the red standing on the, on this pedestal. This is your mind and your body. The powerful three. Okay. As I call it, the powerful three in me. Okay. Because your soul does not want to be down at the same ground level as yourself. So once you have the understanding of what is really going on and you dig deep within yourself, you will have the love and the understanding and then you will be able to open the communications with yourself and then with your loved one to have the peaceful resolution. Okay, guys, and that was for you. And until next time, peace and love, my friends. Bye-bye.